Welcome everybody. Um, let me find this stream first. See how we are doing. Um, where am I? Um, so this one, yeah, it's saying live. Let me click. All right, get rid of these ads. Try again. There we go. Right, that plant's in the way. And so is that. So welcome everyone. Um, just a little chilled out stream for shaping, or starting to shape the um, Tarantula by Robert Lang. Obviously, that's the base of the tarantula. Um, how did I have this? Oh yeah, I had a spread like that. So the base for Robert Lang's tarantula, um, it's going to be shaped, obviously not like a tarantula. It's, it's for the funny challenge, or the second episode of mine. Now, ideas, let me see. Try and draw out, uh, have a good rough idea. So um, I'll just draw normal, um, half, a normal one first, a half it. So normally we we'll, we all have right the back of the body, the top, and then and then here. So that would be how you normally shape it, like that. Obviously, like as usual. Um, so what I'm going to try and do is, instead of having four legs, or eight, I'm going to, of course, have the same body. I'm going to stuff it like I did with the Chad Walker, try and get that completely round, the same with this part as well. I'm going to see if I can put layers on the inside to try and make it more uh, round. Obviously, I won't get it all done on stream, but I'll do the first hour and a half. Um, then I'm going to make it walk. So I'm going to try and give it uh, like human legs, like that. <laughs> so it's going to, and uh, these two will use these two. So just circle them. Don't know why I circled it. And then it's going to be completely round. And um, I'll just. Don't know why I'm doing this as well. So it's going to have the body uh, completely around walking, and then it's going to have instead of the, the eight legs, it's going to have uh, wings. Um, really badly drawn. So eight wings. Oh, it's supposed to be this part. Anyway, bad drawn, but it's going to have really uh, cool dragon like. Uh, wings like the Arizawa Yuga dragon. I did wings like that. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Hopefully they work. Uh, but that's the plan. It will all come together easier the more I uh, work it. Welcome everyone. Welcome Ben, Finn, uh, Hacktan. Thank you all for joining. So, get that out the road. Here we have. Am I close enough? Come up a wee bit. So I tried a few ways to get wings. I think I've got a, a workable solution. We would just, because of course, um, this is going to be the parts that he walks on. So human legs, I'll try and get these done as well. Uh, I'm not sure what I'll do with the wee fang parts. Still work in progress. So I'm going to fold this over. And then we need more paper on this side to try and get a nice um, dragon look wing. So I'm going to pull out this layer. I did this uh, just in advance, just to try and get my head around what I'm going to do. It was like that, was it? Yeah. You never saw that part. So there's here's going to be wing number one. Now to draw up, 
the shape. Um, it's going to be a rough drawing. And then you won't see this part, so I'll just dash. And then that's the part I pulled out. And that's the set of line. So that is basically that wing drawn. Now, if we make this edge and this edge really thick, so I'll glue it all first and then make it really thick. Once I pleat it, I could have a nice spike here. And then I think I will decide to one, two, one. Yeah, do two. Like that. And then um, mountain, mountain valleys. It will make sense as I show it. Hard, I don't have coloured in uh, coloured pencils on me. And then pleats it up to make the spikes. So that's the plan. And then we have eight of those. So let's get out of the road. Uh, welcome everyone. Um, yeah, uh, I draw. I, can, I, th I think I can draw pretty good. How about a, a drawing origami series where I draw your folds? You know, I thought about that. Uh, I thought about buying like a full set of um, a full drawing kit to try and do. Um, I'm going to head out. All right. See you later, Ben. Thank you for joining. So let's start off with this first one and see how it goes because I can do the wings. In fact, let me pleat this first. Just a bit. Yeah, I'll go here. So later on, when I come to do this part, I know where the creases are. And then I can easily, even if it becomes completely 3D, then I can see where they are. And then I can follow this up with cotton wool and then force it all around. So that's there. Um, okay, let's get the gluing started. I don't know where my other glass jars went that I always used. They have vanished. And I use clear glue. Now, is this a good enough angle for you to watch? I mean, it looks perfect from what I'm looking at on the camera and the stream as well. Oh, that's still on the road. What is that? White part. Get this out of frame first. There. Okay. So I'm just going to start off by gluing all the layers because in order to do that technique I just showed, um, it's important to have everything say, stuck together as once, as, as one layer, so it's easier to make these creases. So I'm just going to start. Going, quite try and get as much stuck together as possible, because the stronger this paper, this part is, it will be easier to shape. I ha I just have an unshaped tranche lying around lately as the first complex origami I ever made, and I'm afraid of, of shaping it. No, go for it. Or me, never be afraid to shape. You're afraid to shape because you've never done it before and it's it's daunting. It's a daunting experience to to do something you've never you've never done because you, you don't know how it's gonna turn out, how it's gonna uh look in the end. But go for it, never uh, don't worry. Just go for it. That's the best way to learn. Then this side. Again, I'm only gluing uh, to where the leg starts because I don't know where I'm going to put the paper for the next leg. If I glued the entire thing, then I could potentially screw up. So it's good to have a self-awareness of what layers to glue before you glue. I'll try and get two wings done in this stream and 
the walking, the, the human walking legs at the front. Try and get that done as well. Let me put it down flat. Just to make it easier to spread. And once this glue dries, it will be much easier to shape and hold in position. So how is everyone doing um, this evening, which it is here or in your time? What time is it for you? I mean, I love doing these streams. It's just so relaxing. Also, um, I made the paper again for Shiki's Elephant. So I'll get that started, get it done again. I think I'll unfold the one I did for a funny video. A good idea for that. A really fun idea for that video. And the thing is with this stream, I couldn't decide if I wanted to live stream this or do a tutorial for what I would have called uh, dragon wings. So I might record myself uh, shaping one, one of these wings, just as an example, as a tutorial. I think it would look, uh, be good to do that. So we've almost got all the layers glued. Stop right there, try not to get in on the table so it's a mess to clean up. And again, just double check and make sure I've got everywhere. I haven't here. As once this glue starts to dry, it will be easier to hold the shape and much easier to put in the position. Uh, that you want. So I need to come down a wee bit more. Yeah, I go with that. So I need to glue a wee bit more. How did I get glue in my thumb? So I'm just imagining if I've got two wings, and it'll look like that. So that's fine. Okay, um, normally for... Oh yeah, I've got this pen. I can use. For, uh, if you, as if, if I were doing this properly on an, on an uh, actual dragon, um, again, we're looking at it, this angle, to this drawing, I just put that in my hand. Luckily, I've I come prepared. Clean it off. Move that to the side. Normally, uh, we would add a wire, in here. Right here, and then into the body. I'll just draw that as blue. So where that blue line is, our right body. you would add wire here. Because there's, there's going to be a crimp right here, so you want to try and, depending on how thick the paper is, how many layers you have, you want to try and keep it below the crimp. So let me change color, fancy pen. Crimp. So the wire comes into the body and stops just below, uh, below the crimp. And this is the reason because, first of all, the wire comes into the body. So the wire basically keeps it straight to the body and then it allows you to curve it. If you never had it in the body, you would get the curve, put it in position, but it would fall back down. And then you try again and then it would fall down. The wire holds it in position so when you put it up, it stays up. But we don't have... I'm not going to do it on this anyway, so I'm going to try and uh, work at keeping that together. But that's what you normally do. And you would put it below the crimp to make it easier to make it. So let's see. It'll be easier to add all the details when this dries. So I'm going to start off by making this. 
stickish crease, and then here as well. Um, yeah. Uh, what should I call this? Because it's going to be like a walker tarantula with eight wings. So I'm, I'm not sure. Give me a, a good name, a good catchy name. Yeah, if I go down here. No. Oh, I missed this part. Right, there, Loper wants in. He's meowing at the back door. Cat's ruining the stream again. So we have this. Now I'm just going to try and make, just fold down a bunch, an edge. That should be good enough because once it dries I can fold it in half again to make it look quite thick. And then the same here, straight down. straight line. Anyway, I don't think we'll get a spike. We don't have as much paper as we want here. So anyway, um, let me see. If I do one here, maybe one there. Uh, we'll just do one. So I'm just try to decide yeah, go for here. And a valley fold. So I think this is going to look pretty good. And then just fold over. So like that, that's what we have. And then we do this, which gives extra paper underneath, which we can pleat, and then uh, create spikes. So we need one more. So let's try right here. A masterpiece, Grant, oh thank you. <laughs> I want to see Loper, um, hopefully it jumps on the table, I um, mean, he's got a habit of doing that. It would be cool if he does right now. Alright, uh, thank you for joining Stone Guardian. So we have this. Now we're going to make the first plate. And this is just where you need to play about with um, folding the layers behind. Right, let me try and have a good wee look. We'll fold this up like this. It would that work? That should work. It's working in my head, so it has to work. A lot of something like that. 
and then we're just going to pleat right there. I think I'll do all the wings different as well. All flying wings just to look different. I think that would be pretty cool. This part here is going to be like a sort of mush fold because I want to try and get the wing like I don't want it to come down like thick. I want to try and come in nice and it gets smaller, so I may need to be some sort of mush fold. I won't find out how uh, I can do that or how much I can do it by until uh, this one gets done, the other one. So I'll do that as well on stream. So yeah, it's definitely going to get mushed, that's for sure. So there's basically, this part needs to come down as well. One wing. And I'll just fold this over. Now I don't think I can add the crimp there now, I think I'll leave the crimp. Doesn't seem to be enough paper. Oh yeah, it could actually do a wee one. I'll wait till it dries more. I should be able to form a wee spike as well. This is something a lot of people do in dragons. That's not fully going in place. That'll work. That'll work. I can think, uh, round it out more later on. So there's one. And then when these dry, we can round it really nicely. And then add some curves. But we can't really do that until the glue is dry, because still it's quite a bit soft, so I'm going to do the other wing as well. So that's basically one wing. I mean, how neat is that for a rough wing? To think that you only need a basic flap, and you could even put this in your own design. You only need a small flap and a bit of creativity, and then we'll add more detail to this at the very end when the glue when the glue is dry more. So let's try the other one. Hopefully, we don't have too much interference here. Now, what side was it I pulled to put the flap, the paper out? Oh yeah, it's this side. So we'll find that the moment of truth will be when we do uh, this one as well. So we had this to start, and then we got that. Which isn't even detailed yet, so we need to wait till the glue dries. But right, uh, see you later, Stone. Thank you for joining. Um, Grant is very good at origami. Thank you very much. Um, it's a passion, so we need to... I need to keep doing this. So, same again. We're going to glue these layers. Also, big official video dropping um, next 
maybe next Saturday. Aladdin Storm Rage by Soma Cruise. And the wings on that map uh, on that model have these uh, this style on it. Okay. Uh, I might actually just keep the wings all the same so it looks more natural. I really want to make these uh, human legs to see what, what it looks like. Uh, so I'm going to do that after this wing. I'm put this flat so it's easier to spread. That is one. That's a cool looking wing, thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm very pleased with it as well. And this, this it's not that hard to do, this uh, type of wing. It's just gluing all the layers, getting a rough wing shape, uh, folding excess paper and then adding the pleats. It's a very fun way to do it. And this is Elvici as well. If you were wondering, I think someone asked. I don't think I replied. So I'm glad it works. Because I wasn't sure if it was going to work when I started the stream. I didn't want to stream and, and, and it didn't work. And I'd be like, oh, well, what do I do now? So it's going to be quite weird to see the eight of these. It's going to be really weird. So we're almost there. Few more layers to glue, and then we can get the wing on this done as well. Then you get my friend Joe says he went to the same high school as you. <laughs> really, Joe? Joe does not ring a bell. Oh. You got me. <laughs> Cannot believe I fell for that. Oh my god. Oh my god. I need to delete that part out of the stream right now. You know, I, I, I actually believed you there. I, I read it before I read it out. I'm thinking, really someone was watching me that is this close, that knows me? Later, I'm going to permanently ban you from my channel. That's what you deserve. I'm joking, I won't. But no, that was a good one. I, I, I don't know why I never uh, saw that coming. So I think we're all good. Maybe I could have brought it more together. Doesn't matter. Um, So, let me just double check. Yeah. So, again, fold up this part. 
and then I'll fold some down. Try and get it a straight line. Now we're here. Um, let me see. One there. One there. I'm just judging it. Yeah, that, that was good enough. Maybe up a wee bit. So here. It's good enough, it's a good amount. And then here. And that's a good amount as well. Uh, hello, amazing, great stream. Thank you, Tio. The, the origami and chill streams are just literally relaxing, chilled, stress-free streams. I think I'll just do them constantly. So we're almost got this second wing in rough position. So there we go, like that. Um, so how, how did I do this one? I folded it up. Oh yeah, up the way. What did I do here? Um, why is it the side I see? I'm looking at it the wrong way. So this way. And we'll be able to uh, make these points really pointy as the glue dries, it makes it much more easier. Is that what I did the first time? Yeah, I think it was. I could probably extend up. Like that. There. Even more point. Wait, let me do this. Let me put this one in place first. And when you do this, you don't need to be precise. Where can I buy this paper? Uh, yeah, so on my Etsy store, that's where I sell it. All the paper I make. Yeah, so that goes into that one, that's fine. So we're near enough. Where's the bottom of the body? Oh, I need to flip it around. There we go. I mean, you could even like fold it upside down and even create a dragon. Some sort of. Flying Dragon. Yeah, I make the paper. Do you still sell paper on Etsy? Yes. So I think we have everything in place. I need to wait for that glue to dry. Oh, 
or whoppers back through. Try and go back to this one, see if it's easier to shape. Don't know if you can hear Loper crunching in the background on his biscuits. Right, I'm gonna do it like that. I'm trying to see how to get a bigger spike on this one, if I fold it up like that. Oh yeah, I could do that actually. That's fine. Um, so let's actually use the white glue as well. Just trying to it out like that. So I mean, I, 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 I'm in love with it already. And we still need to round these parts as well. And when you glue it, it's just a matter of opening up and basically filling up with glue. I would normally use clear glue or really thick MC, like really thick, so you don't leave glue marks. I'll use some clear glue. Stuff's amazing. How sure ruin your reviews on Etsy? Oh, you don't need reviews to sell. That's super important. And everywhere has bad reviews, but having stars doesn't mean anything. I have been doing great so far. Creepy, yeah, definitely. It's it's getting there. This is where you want to use clear glue or thick MC because you really want to um, mush it all together and try to create some sort of spike formation on the bottom. And I'll just peg it. Normally I'll use a piece of paper to protect it so I don't leave um, glue marks. Um, oh yeah, thank you for joining, Robert. Um, I hope you enjoyed what you saw. Um, that looks dope. Is the PO box still open by the way? Yes it is. The PO box will be open 24-7. As long as I can pay it, so it will be open. Yes, yeah, it's a monthly payment, so it's open for the rest of this year. So if you are planning to send something, then it's entirely up to you. But yeah, it's definitely 
open and active. Wait, the stream froze again on this tablet. I hate when this happens. One second, everyone. Yeah, I need to get a better device to watch streams back so it doesn't keep freezing. No. It's not there. There we go, we're back. And chat loading up. I have to go to sleep. Okay, um, have a good sleep, Shia. Now, I don't think I've got enough paper for a spike. I think I do actually have enough. So let's try and create a wee spike at the top. I'll do this one and then I'll go for one of the front legs. See how that turns out. It's gonna be a wee tiny spike, this one. Maybe actually I could get more out of it. Oh, sorry, I was off camera there, I never realized. Let me peg it like that now. Then we just need to round. Oh, that's what I forgot to do. A good little tip to round these parts is just valley fold the edge up. So it makes it easier to fold in on itself. I'm going to do this one as well. Sort like that. And then it should be easier to round it. It should basically sink in together like that. But that again, that's near enough a last minute job when the glue is all dry. So I'm really digging this wing. Uh, Lol, this is so confusing. Yes, it is definitely Jeff. You've probably joined in thinking, what is he doing? It doesn't even look like anything. But this is going to be a, uh, whether, whether, let me think of the name. Let me think of the name. Walking. Walking eight-winged uh, human something. I'm, I've got the start of the name. I've got the start of it. Uh, I'm not sure what else to call it. Something will come to me. But yeah, it looks very confusing. It's a tarantula shaped uh, completely different to ease off. So it'll be easier to shape these when the glue dries, but look at the length we have that on that spike. Look at the length of that one. And that's a wing. We have a wing. In fact, let me just try and put some more detail on this one. It's starting to dry, so it should be easier to shape. I 
I really can't wait to see how this turns out. This is going to be so weird. I wonder what the final result will look like. Yeah, same here. I'm going to work on this the next few days because the deadline for the entries is today, the 21st, I believe it is. Yeah. So I'll get this done in the next few days and then I can pile it all with the other folds I received. But yeah, I'm really curious to see how this turns out. I mean, it's that easy to make that large spike on a wing from such a simple looking flap. Don't think I can get any more from there. I'll need to... Let me just peg this part. Just to help hold it in place. Maybe a bit in here. I won't add any in there yet because that's going on to the next part. I have quite a big one on the second one. Yeah, I think I'll get the same size one as well. to glue this side first before I would make I would make it easier to get a more rounder spike. Um oh like that. I mean uh, now that I think about it, I think it's probably easy to design a dragon. Because all you need is a, is a basic, simple flap, and then you can turn it into something this, uh, like this. How do I do that one? Fold it up. Like that. I mean, I may try and design one, considering I don't know how to do this from, like, any flap. Let's just turn it that way. Um, so we have two done. Uh, he turned a dragon into a trancha, and now he's turning a trancha into a dragon. He will get the exact same results. Yeah, I'm making the ancient dragon for uh, from a trancha. <laughs> that that would be funny. That that would be really funny. If that happened. So last one. I mean, I am digging these wings so much. I've only done two, and I've got eight to do. Not on stream. I won't get them all. I won't get them all done on stream. But a tarantula body with eight wings that walks on human legs. Um, that's what I drew at the start, like that. Uh, I'm not sure what to do with the. The pencils yet, so I'm, I'm not sure what to do in there. Um, I'll decide uh, with these bits, these two bits. They're going to be the legs, and then something with these. Maybe I'll just hide them, or who knows. But I'll decide when I get to it. No, I need to make this point. I didn't get a big spike ish on that one. Well, maybe I could. And as long as I have these plates in place, can I peg this? Yes. Yeah, so as long as I still have these plates in place, then we're good. 
and it's still quite soft so I can't really do much with it just yet. And I'll just tuck this round. So there we go, we have two wings. Near enough done. The finishing touches will be added when all the glue is dry. Um, uh, man, dang, wall. Let me see, if you finish this, are you going to post it? Post what it looks like uh, on Insta or, or Twitter. Oh. Yes, I will be doing that. As I do with everything. And I'm really curious to see how this looks. I need to do the top spike as well. Try and get something out of this. something. Oh yeah, I need to fold down these parts. Over. So basically, that is it. Um, we can get rid of that. Probably just get rid of these, actually. They should be hold, held enough by themselves. I just need to fold this part in. So basically we have two wings done. I mean I'm really loving how this looks. Oh the comments, got to read them all. Has there been many submissions? Um I I think I have four at the moment. I've not checked all my messages at the moment, so I need to go through all those uh just to make sure I've not missed any. But at the moment four. Which is still a good amount. I mean the more I do this, the more people will take part. So there's one wing. And then I'll look the same on this one. Uh, I don't think, should I do this then now? No, I don't think I'll do this then, then now because I'm not sure what I'll do with these parts. I don't want to glue anything and then Uh, I'll ruin this if I do. I need to stuff the body as well. Oh, look at them, just imagine us round, round. I just need to have them walking like that. Yeah, I'll do this actually. That'll be fine. Let's do the legs. 
but there's going to be quite a few layers. I'll do one leg and then there's no point in doing two on stream because it's the exact same thing. So I'll get this one done and then I'll stop the stream because that'll be enough. Sure, on a good amount. So again, as usual, just folding all this over. Oh yeah, spamming, I, I, I know, <laughs> that happens. Oh, that's a bit I could hide all this all off camera again. Yeah, I've got layers here to pull out. No, I won't bother pulling out because I'm, I'm making a human leg. So I want to try and keep it as like slim as possible. I don't need to pull out extra layers. I can figure out these parts as I do it uh, later on. Off camera, of course. I'm going to do this human leg and then I'll stop the stream. That should be a good amount. Yeah, I'm not sure how I would shape this. Just maybe just uh, fold it in half all the way down, then just keep it straight. I will make that number five then grand awesome. That would be great. The more people we get to do this, the bigger that will be. And it's so much fun just to shape something to how it shouldn't look in a way. Facebook or email, possibly. Yeah, I use Facebook as well. I've got, uh, it's in the description, my uh, Fearless Flourish page. I mean, you can send them there if you want, and I will receive them. So that's basically all the glues, uh, all the glues, that makes sense, all the layers glued. And the leg, I can't really glue it inside. Yeah, I could come down more. I'll bring us down a bit more. No, there's no point because the leg stops here. Uh, I can't access inside. Wait, can I? Uh, I want to be bit on the inside. Just trying to open up a pocket. Um, yeah, that'll do there. Take it off as well. Just to make the layers on the inside uh, stick together easier. So, right. Here we go. Um, let me see what I want to rest. Oh, I missed. Boom roller, wee wee wee. Um, give it biceps. Give the leg biceps. Um, that would be pretty challenging. Uh, I don't know uh, what exactly I'm going to do with this. I thought I'd just give it a normal plain walking legs, maybe. Wait. Maybe I could do it at the side and then like, like that. A little bit like that. No, then I would, that would be like that. Or just have it straight down. So straight down, as if it's walking. Obviously this would be straight, no curve, or 
have it like he's ready to jump or something. <laughs> um, oh wait, some um, the black fish, the uh, the Blackstone fish owl. No, yes, it is yes, no, it's not. Um, this is a tarantula that I'm shaping to be something completely weird. It's for my funny shaping challenge. Uh, Robert Lang's tarantula, of course. Uh, but we've turned to the legs and to these sick wings. And it's going to have eight of these. And it's going to uh, somehow uh, walk on these two. So let me just glue. Wait there, let me think. I could do a plate. Maybe a wee curve. No. Yeah, like that. Something like that. Yeah, we'll do that. Again, I could have even added wire inside this. Uh, it would help with the, that stand up. But I don't think I'll do that. I don't think I'll do that. This is going to be the front, so I need to make sure this is facing the front. Yeah, this, this will get hidden as well, this layer. I forgot to sink these. Let me just tuck it inside. Wait, I don't, I don't think I will actually. Because that will be filled with cotton wool and then completely puffed to be uh, round. Uh, making a gargoyle? No. Um, it's the Robert Lang's tarantula turned into some sort of creature which I don't know yet until I finish shaping in the next few days. I'll get the rest of this done. Once I get this leg done, I'll stop the stream and then work on this the next few days. And then get the reaction video out. And then the next funny shaping challenge started. That's the plan. Robert, when he sees what Grant did to his masterpiece, the hell you've done to that. Oh, sh should I send it to him? How? That would be funny. That, that, that would be funny. I, I wonder how he would react. He'd probably have a heart attack. He'd be absolutely shocked at how good this is. So let's just do a little 3D crimp. Yeah, I think I need, I think I need to make this paper again. I love this paper colour so much. I need to uh, add more glue in here. Did I miss that part? I must have. I think that'd be enough. Uh, that, that looks about reasonable proportions, do you think? Should I bring it up higher? I mean, you won't really see it that much. It'll be like... Maybe I'll bring it up a wee bit more. Up here. And that'll be better here. Where did I add this crimp? I think here.
Maybe the leg. Like that. A bit like that. It's up to stand. Can I zoom in on this? Yeah, I can. Oh, wow. I think that would look pretty good. Let's zoom out. There we are. Uh, has anyone else seen his new Mockingbird? Uh, I have Robert's one. Robert Langs. Uh, I've not seen it if it is his. Yeah, I'll go with that. I'm happy with that. So, it's going to need... A good thing is, on this wing, um, we don't, it looks like... Yeah, I did it like that, so I need to pull out this layer. I'm not going to do this part on this stream anyway. On his site. Oh, okay. Um, it's getting a little bit crazy up in this joint. Yeah. I mean, it looks perfect here. Once I uh, fill this up with cotton wool and then try and round it all, it'll make so much more sense. So let me just, uh, before I stop the stream, let me just see how that will look when I fold this up. So I want to see uh, how much excess paper I'll have to play around with. Do that, and I don't know why, why do I need tweezers. I can easily pull this paper out. How much paper do we get? Because it's a different part of the the paper or the square. So, I how much we'll get this time. It's definitely different than the previous line. Maybe I... Probably easier if I pulled out this one. So let's put this back in. Yeah, I can't flip it, can I? If I pulled it out... Oh yeah, I could work actually. I'll just do the top part here. No. Oh yes, it's coming down. So I'd fold it down and down. Yeah, I can still do that. I can still do that. It should be easier to pull out this paper, this side. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Normally, um, this would be this part here, but because it's upside down, I'll need to do it this part. That would work. And then I've got plenty of paper here. Wait, I could pull it more, could I? No, there's not enough paper to pull it more. Right, so the wing's going to be a different size. It looks good, uh, but some editing would make it look better. Oh yeah, definitely. Once the glue dries, um, it'll be much easier to adjust the details and refine them. So, it would work like that. We would, it would need to start here. So I'd have a small one here and then a really large one here. Yeah, I'll, I'll make them, but I won't glue it and then I'll stop the stream. Let me see. Right, then a wee bit more actually. Wait, let me make the big one first. Put in a wee bit more. I'm just judging it by eye. Like that. Like that. 
And then there's plenty of paper in here to pull out for a massive spike that will work. And then there. Wait, where's this valley fold? And then look at that. So yeah, I'll get two big spikes out of this. And then that will come like that. Yeah, I think it's going to look really nice. Uh, nice in a in a, a weird way. Uh, I'm really curious to see how it's going to look as well. But yeah, that is basically it. He's going to walk on these legs and then it's going to be some sort of uh, round body. Um, so I'm going to get to work finishing this tomorrow. And thank you all for joining the stream. I missed most of the stream, so I have no idea how you made the wings. Well, once it uploads the stream, once I uh, stop it, I will upload and then you can check it out. It's a really unique process, which you, you can apply to a simple flap and then make really unique wings. Uh, it's a really good trick to learn and you can apply it to literally any dragon that you want to get cool wings. Um, let me see, yeah, I read all the comments. Right, thank you all for watching everyone. Uh, I hope you learned something new and oh my god, we have one dislike. How the hell? How the hell could you dislike this? It's not good enough. I'm only kidding. Anyway, thank you all for watching everyone. I will see you all um, very soon. I'm going to get a cup of tea.